HelloFresh makes getting back into the fall routine easy. Their delicious seasonal meal kits take the guesswork out of meal prep and are delivered right to your door. Get up to 14 free meals, including free shipping, with code FACE14 at HelloFresh.com slash FACE14. Did you stop? Uh, n- uh, I'm sort of. I don't know. Why'd you stop? Well, I don't, he threw Craig in there. I asked Gavin. We always kind of start early. Who knows? <laughs> what Andrew? What Andrew and I were talking about definitely before we started, Gavin, is uh, that he asked if I had uh, if if I went through Florida in a wheelchair, and I was explaining that I didn't, but that we very uh, carefully planned the week's events from light to heavy. So that, uh, <laughs> We did the the shit that could hurt me on the last day so that Jack could be sure to get as much of his content filmed as necessary. <laughs> so all the max shakage was at the end. <laughs> yeah, max shakage at the end. It, it culminated with me almost throwing up on the Incredible Hulk ride. <laughs> and that was pretty much it. Are there like theme park snobs? You know, like the, the same way that there's a wine snob of sort? Like, is there, is oh, there yeah. the equivalent of that for theme parks? I think it's Dude, very there's snobby. all kinds of snobs. You know who I bet they are? <laughs> you know who I bet the worst are? Apple snobs. Apple snobs? Get, oh, fuck you, Apple snobs. Well, wait, what do you mean? <laughs> I, I was very aggressive, but I realized that could go separate ways. That is a statement I might actually agree with. Yeah, like someone's an Apple snob. Now the con- no, 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 no. Now the context, I thought you were leading into something very specific, a conversation we had. That was a real moment on the podcast right there, audience. Well, I, I was processing. That could mean two things. And one of those I agree with. You just jumped in front of Tim Cook, but no one fired a bullet. <laughs> well, no, I'm, I would. No, I would not jump in front of Tim Cook. I'm letting that bullet fly in that scenario. The apple Jesus. Is terrible. Oh, I don't want anything. Bad. Listen, you're the one who fired the shot. I'm just saying I'm not a big apple guy in that way. I'm a huge fruit apple guy, not a big apple computer person. Right. Although I use one, but I just there's a snobbery in the apple products. It's it's a mess. It's a disaster. <laughs> Can I say I was referring? I was it was referring a fruit to apple fruit. comment, right? It was a fruit apple comment. I oh, forgot okay. that Apple computers existed. <laughs> I was not expecting that response. I'll be honest. I forgot we. Uh, I forgot we have an Apple thing. I immediately went to the iPhone. Really? See, I thought because we had a whole conversation about this on text, I'd love to hear Eric's opinion on a specific issue we were talking about because I think Let's it's do insane. It. That that you don't don't think about that, but it was the whole thing. Because then I have I'm sit, I'm looking at an Apple computer right now, so it clicked in. I didn't know what you meant. I agree, Apple snobbery can be terrible. Apple snobs for the fruit, completely <laughs> justified. It's a top fruit. Love an apple. <laughs> it is an elite fruit. And the the comment I'd like to to argue, not argue, but bring up to Eric. Jeff said that apples don't have a range of textures. He questioned this. Oh, that's crazy. Apples that's absolutely insane. have a range of textures. Yeah, there's like, th- that's why there the word mealy exists to me, because when you eat an apple. Oh, that just means bad apple. If it's mealy, I just feel like it's no, going bad. What? No, nope, but that's a texture. Different types. But that's different texture. Like, that. look, there's apples that are more mealy than other apples. There's apples that are firmer, some that are softer. There's mm-hmm. different apple textures for sure. Listen, when we go to firm or soft, I'm assuming it's it's how ripe it is. You know, no, it, like is, it is specific different types. No, I would say like like a Granny Smith is a, a hard, crispy apple, but yes. like a Brayburn or something, it's got it's a little bit softer. There's not as much okay. resistance when you're going into it. Absolutely. I'll be honest, I don't pay attention to texture on apples. They all feel the same to me. I pay attention to flavor. I will say this, that makes sense to me because you're the biggest banana guy I know, and I think bananas yeah. have dog shit texture, and it's my main issue <laughs> with the banana. I think their texture fucking stinks. <laughs> I hate Dude, can I that. tell you? Can I tell you? <laughs> something fucking crazy happened to me. I didn't even think this was content, but you just reminded me. Something crazy happened to me in Orlando or in Orlando last week. I was out there for the other podcast, and uh, we were, you know, we were doing the Universal stuff. And the hotel we ha- we stayed in uh, doesn't have room service. And my whole plan was not to leave the hotel room so that I could rest my back. You know, just lay down the entire time, only get up to go to the. Th- to do my job and then immediately come back, ignore Jack and, and producer Ben, uh, don't want anything to do with them and just lay down and rest uh, so that I could be a hundred percent for face. Right. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, so we stopped the first night at a little convenience store and bought a bunch of groceries so that we could eat in the room. And I bought a bunch of bananas and I opened one up and I had a banana the next day and I almost threw up. I thought I had COVID for a second <laughs> because I have never had, and please, you're going to think this is a weird thing to say. I've never had a banana taste bad before. I've had bananas go bad. I've had bananas like turn mushy on the backside and be black or whatever. And that's not good. You take a bite of that. You don't realize you're like, because the bananas turned. Right. But I've mm-hmm. never had a fresh, ripe banana taste like shit. <laughs> it was the craziest thing. It tasted like it had like a sweet taste to it. I, I almost vomited. It was, the, it was the grossest thing. And then because I could smell it, I smelled it in my hotel room the entire time I was there. I was uneasy <laughs> the entire week I was in Florida because I, I had to take the banana downstairs and throw it in like the little trash can next to the dumpster to get it or next to the uh, elevator to get it further away from me. Did you buy a plantain by accident? <laughs> no, no. I've had plantains before, dude. This was a banana. Okay. It's like a, I, well, I was going to say Chiquita. I don't know what the brand was, but it was definitely, a, it might have been Dole <laughs> or Del Monte. See, I feel like bananas have the most, you get good mileage from a, a banana. Like a, a banana can physically turn pretty far and like go almost all black, but it's still an edible banana inside. That's the nice thing about a banana, right? There's not a range of flavor like an apple. A banana is a banana. It's always going to taste like a banana, which is why at 46 years old, when I put a banana in my mouth that did not taste like a banana, it freaked me the fuck out. You know those like small marshmallow banana candy type things? I'd like to think that they just made full-sized versions of those, and that's what Jeff ate. He's just baffled by this. (laughs) Well, isn't that what old bananas were? They were the flavor of like artificial banana now or something? Yes, the original banana flavor is is gone now, I think, right? Or it tastes like it tastes like banana candy, and then real bananas no longer taste like old bananas used to. I wish I could weigh in and be like, yeah, I kind of agree with these banana opinions, or like, yeah, that's never happened to me. I fucking hate bananas. I never eat banana. Like, I can't. There's no point. Of what don't you? What do you not like about them? The, just the texture? I think the text, like I, the taste, is like a I don't know, maybe a five out of ten. Like the taste is very average to me, and the texture is terrible. It's an awful texture. Mm. Don't enjoy it at all. <laughs> I would I, that we should start ranking fruit because I would say a banana is a is an eight to me, like uh, and it's a, never a seven, never a nine. It's only ever an eight because it always tastes the same. But I would give the texture of a banana like a nine and a half. Are I you like serious? A, I like I like a banana. I like chewing on a banana. Yeah, banana is a top tier fruit, and as we were discussing recently, Andrew, also good because you can drop it and keep eating it. No, yeah. there's like there are definite perks to the banana. You can eat it without actually touching the fruit. That's great. I'm not even going to argue that it's not a good fruit. Like, I, people love the banana. It's a very popular fruit. But I think texture-wise, it's a fucking disaster. And it goes lower because... <laughs> <laughs> but you like a brownie. You like a cupcake. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? They're completely different texture. things. Mm. If I... if <laughs> Nobody bites mm. into a brownie and is like, oh, this is the same as a banana. Oh, it's squishy. <laughs> it's squishy. There's like a little bit of resistance, a bit more dense there's in the middle. There's a fucking chalkiness to bananas and like it just gets all over them. Like there's nothing... The bite, The per bite of a banana does not compare to the per bite taste of a brownie or any of the other things you list. I feel like you've had a banana once, and it was Jeff's one. Yeah. It was just like a, a one-off yeah. rancid one. Or you're going off a 14-year-old memory of a banana, dude. If you put a banana in a smoothie, I'm fine with that taste. I think it's a staple of a smoothie. Dr- like that. If we're going to evaluate fruit yep. as a whole, you need to factor in other ways to use it. And a smoothie, you need it. But just if I'm eating it out of a grocery store, grabbing it from the shelf, eating a banana, the texture sucks. It's a terrible taste. If, if you want to factor in other uses, the banana may be the most useful fruit of all time because anytime you're in a chase and you're trying to run away from a cop or a villain <laughs> or a mountain lion, you can fucking throw it behind you and you're guaranteed to you're guaranteed freedom. That's the true. best can, thing an apple can do is keep the doctor away for one more day. Well, so they stop you up if you got the squits. What? True. If you got the runs. What do you mean? What are you are you saying what I think you're saying? Yeah. What? Yes, I am. <laughs> what? Go ahead. No, explain <laughs> further. Well, you know what I'm talking about. Well, no, I, I, I kind of do, but I just am stunned that you immediately, that's where your brain went. As a oh, it's an absolute go-to. If you're shitting liquid, if you've been shitting liquid for a couple of days, get a couple of bananas down. I've always been sorted out by Okay, you were not. No, there. this was a miscommunication. <laughs> I greatly misinterpreted what oh. you were advising. <laughs> what did you think? 
<laughs> he thought you were going to shove it up your ass. This yeah, was another was Apple conversation, and it there. was awesome to watch. <laughs> I thought Wait. that you were talking about corkscrewing your asshole with the banana was <laughs> what you were advising. Well, Come I, didn't th- I thought you were being <laughs> like, facetious. I thought you were joking. Not that you were saying like if you eat it, oh. it helps with the sore stomach. I thought you were making a joke. That's why I was like, really? You went there immediately? We clearly haven't recorded in a while. We're all up. We're like, yeah. I'm, I'm talking about iPhones. You're talking about <laughs> eating fruit. I'm talking about eating bananas. You're talking about shoving them up my ass. We need to get on the same page. How do we How do we get in sync? We are out of sync. I'm like, we're f- <laughs> Faced out of sync. Stop riding roller coasters. I was thinking about was it Beverly Hills Cop, where he like takes the banana and shoves it in the car and it fucks the car up. So that's where I was thinking of banana insertion, and then you said that, so it's just that's where my brain went, and I was baffled. I did use the phrase "stops you up," I guess, but I just meant from like a solidifying fecal matter point of view. Also, bananas are high in potassium. And that's good if you like. You should <laughs> eat a banana before you. Oh shit! You're gonna do your marathon at some point, right, Andrew? Yeah. Do a. Sure. You should eat some bananas before it. Uh, it'll help you with the with your. What uh, do you think we're uh, further from? The marathon or Jeff throwing a ball? Oh, I dude! Jeff throwing a ball. I'm a. Th- <laughs> I'm gonna throw that ball pretty soon. I'm almost a hundred percent. I'm close. All right, hey, how about this, Gav? What are you, are you? Are you around this weekend? Yeah. Well, let's throw the ball. Yeah. Okay. On Saturday. It's Saturday. Sure, if you want to, if you're free. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll throw the ball Saturday. That was quick. I thought we were, were months out. Yeah, it seemed months out. You said like December was sort of well. The time I I, got last I wanted I wanted some time to stretch and and get my body ready, but uh, I can't I can't take too long because I have to allow for the idea that I might have another catastrophic and pointless injury in between, <laughs> and I don't want to keep kicking this down the road forever. So I'd rather set a shitty baseline and then just have greater improvement than do it properly. Andrew, okay. do you want to run a marathon on Saturday? Uh, no. No, I don't. Well, it looks no. like I win that. I feel like you've lost your confidence. Yeah. Well, no, I just, I don't, listen, I don't buy the just throwing the baseball on Saturday. If he throws it on Saturday, will you run the marathon on the next Saturday? <laughs> sure. I'll start on the fall. Fo- well, no, wait, wait a second, because we're going to talk about another thing that might lead into another thing that you don't know about. I'll oh. do it. I'll do it after the Saturday at, well, yeah, Saturday after the thing we'll talk about later. But what about your shoulder? Then you have to check your shoulder. Did you already go to the doctor? Are you all clear? Are you medically clear? Oh, because of the hernia? Yes. Yeah, I'm on the f- I'm on the fence about whether I'm going to follow up on that or not. I, uh, <laughs> it was such an important I don't know, detail man. last time. I, I, I know. Hadn't it been affecting you like your entire life? <laughs> yeah, you're like your for a couple of years, for years. It has. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's a hernia. That my shoulder has been fucked for a while. That's different. I can't do okay. anything about my shoulder. It's arthritis. I could get a cortisone shot if I need to, which. Will Ooh. probably happen after I throw the ball. Probably have to get a big shot of cortisone in my shoulder. So that'll be fun. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm prepared to do it because I care about this podcast. So on Saturday, <laughs> I can mark on my calendar that you will throw this ball on Saturday. We will get a number for it. The only thing that could get in the way of me. <laughs> oh, F1 this weekend. Never, never mind. I got to go to F1 this weekend. F1 is. Okay. No, it's not every weekend. It's like every few weekends. What do you mean you're going? No, it's to in F1? Austin, dude. It's in Austin. Oh, it's I'm going in Austin. To F1 okay. in Austin well, this week. Yeah, no. Yeah, absolutely. I have weekend tickets. Uh, so if I can throw it, like I don't know what the schedule is, but if we can throw it before or after F1, we'll do it. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to wait till Monday. <laughs> See, Kevin, you're giving me shit about not committing to Saturday. Two minutes later, <laughs> Jeff's bumping it. We've already. I just moved forgot about F1, up. but I still want to fit it in. I still want to fit it in. This week, do it at the F1 track. <laughs> uh, do you have tickets? No. <laughs> well, it's gonna be hard for you to fucking be there, then, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Before now that we're 16 minutes into this podcast, uh-huh. uh huh. Well, with the part we didn't that wasn't a part of the, or maybe we're like 14 minutes in. Anyway, we should probably, Andrew. I have notes of what you wanted to talk about today and what I want to talk about. Gavin, I don't uh-huh. know if you had anything, but well, I only had one thing. Why don't you hit us with it? Uh, well, it's, it's kind of similar to all the flavors we've been talking about, and um, the fact that I hadn't, I hadn't had any confidence yet on uh-huh. face. I found my confidence. <gasps> what is your confidence? I felt like I was chocolate confident. Like you know how you get <laughs> you know how you get those like lint excellence things where it's like 70% cocoa. Mm-hmm. And I was like, mm, I'm pretty I like these pretty extreme percentages on chocolate. It's like really dark, a little bit bitter. And I, and I was looking through all the chocolates in the store. It's like 70%. Oh, oh, bloody hell, 80, 85. And then I saw one that was 100. And I thought, I'm bloody I'm really going to like that one. So I bought Lint Excellence, a hundred percent cocoa. Let me, uh, 
we'll chuck this in the old Discord okay. so we know what we're talking about. <laughs> oh, an update! Discord update! <laughs> what's, what's new? All right, hold on here. Here we go. We're so bad at posting things when we're talking about them. It doesn't, we're 74 weeks in <laughs> or whatever. We still suck at that. Bam. All right, that's in there. <laughs> There's nothing. <laughs> okay, there we there go. Is. Okay, so we're okay. talking chocolate bars specifically. I wasn't sure if you meant like a hot chocolate powder. No, I it was like the clarification. You, you break it off, you eat it. Okay. And uh, I was like, oh, this is going to, I'm bloody going to love this. But then there's a disclaimer on it. It said excellence 100% reveals the strength and richness of cocoa beans. Flavor profile delivers a strong blah, blah, blah. <laughs> to fully appreciate the intense cocoa experience, we recommend that you progressively develop your palate <laughs> through our range of high cocoa oh. content, bar, content chocolate bars, starting with excellence 70%, then 85%, then 90%. <laughs> I thought... Well, I've not done any of that. I'm going in the deep end here. <laughs> I was like, I've pretty, I'm pretty sure I've trained my palate already throughout life. Yeah. I, I snapped off a bit of this chocolate, shoved it in. <laughs> By far the <laughs> most disgusting thing I've ever eaten in my entire life. It immediately, it immediately turned to mud and like rushed. It was the bitterest <laughs> I've never experienced. They were not kidding. Uh, my palate, I was immediately just like, oh, oh, and I was, I was like dry heaving. I couldn't get it out because it just turned to paste. I was like, Ugh. um, so it was overconfidence, uh, massive misjudgment there on the old tongue. So I, I think I do have to slowly work up to uh, seventy yeah. percent. I would, I would love you both to try. It. I'm not sure if See, you're a big chocolate guys. It was. <laughs> Utterly foul. I how, don't know how it's even food. How quickly do you think you could eat the entire chocolate bar, Gavin? <laughs> oh, I couldn't. I couldn't eat. I couldn't. I, I don't think I could <laughs> so eat. Zero, zero three quickly. minutes. Three minutes. Let me show you how much I ate. <laughs> three minutes. I'll show you how much I ate. So when you're when you reading the bottom part of it, with the like start 75, 80, what was your thought process? Were you like, this is like, what? I was That's laughing bullshit. at it. Like, what? Was, yeah. <laughs> what yeah, dumb thing to write on your chocolate? Absolutely. Hey, don't eat this chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> so you still had 100% confidence until you put it in your mouth. <laughs> I had 100% until I ate the 100%. And I oh my God, I, I literally don't think I could eat the rest of that in, if I, if you gave me 24 hours, it wouldn't all go in. So in 24 hours, that's 20, that's 21 bars or 21 little squares. So you don't think you could eat one an hour with three hours to breathe? No. I think I would throw up <laughs> after the first one and I would just be looking at the rest for the rest of the day and I it wouldn't happen. Next time we record, not next episode because we're doing two today, I will eat yeah. that whole fucking thing in like four minutes. Are you sure? <laughs> I've never had it, but yeah, it's chocolate. No. How bad could it Can be? you do something no. else for me it's, too? <laughs> it's not chocolate. It's not chocolate. I don't know what it is. It's not chocolate. It looks like chocolate. Andrew. Yes, Jeff. Andrew, I love this idea. I think this is a great <laughs> idea and I support it. <laughs> However, I think it would be even better. <laughs> it would be even better if you washed it down with a banana. <laughs> Why? I want to hear you eat a, a good banana on, on podcast. Okay. We, I think Gavin and I are on to something. We both think you haven't eaten one in a long time. And I'd like to get your up to the date, like today, Andrew Panton uh 2021 opinion on bananas i don't think i want to combine the two though but i, I will do both i'm open to both absolutely i just don't do the banana first i don't see i feel like Dip your, banana, uh, i hate listen. bananas so much in my head i feel like it will throw me off my chocolate eating game for later do this do this uh eat do the chocolate then rub uh <laughs> your foot in ginger and then eat the banana <laughs> <laughs> i'll tell you after one bite of this chocolate you would eat a whole bunch of bananas just to get the taste out of your mouth <laughs> Okay. It was like four hours of just being like every every so often the flavor would re hit my tongue and I'd be like bleh, bleh, bleh. I'm all, you know what I like that idea I'll go chocolate first palate cleanse with the banana give it a try what, what is interesting needed. though is that um the entire bar is one serving like are you usually serious when you have yeah when you have like a like a bag or something or like something that needs to be it's like oh this bag contains eighteen servings of this or whatever but it's the whole thing is just one so. I think eating the whole thing in one go won't be too bad for you. So now that you've eaten the 100%, do you think you need to start at 75? Do you feel like you're at 85? 
if you could go to 50, <laughs> would you go to 50? Like, where do you think <laughs> your taste range is at this point? Well, like, has it set me back? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just uh, curious, like, what do you think your actual ideal number is now that you know it's not 100? Well, I, I do like 70, so I th- I just love that there's an 85 and a 90. Yeah. Like, that's, it's significant enough between 5% to warrant a completely different chocolate bar. <laughs> uh, I think I could, I think I'd do 85. Okay. Do you think you could get to 100 if you trained in the Lind way? Like they well, according to the disclaimer on the packet, I could. I, I, really? I, I would say if I ate 70 one month, 85 the next month, 90 the next month. I, yeah, I think give me three months, I could try 100 again. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think I like the long play on this. I think we should do that in tandem with the other Andrew thing. I'd like to see. I'd like to see if I'd like to see the experiment. I'd like to see this in action. I'd like to see if it's possible. I want to know if you want to achieve it or do you think you would feel like a monster by the end of it? If you hit a hundred and it was just like nothing. Oh, no way. I'd be so proud of it. It'd be something to brag about. Okay. Yeah, I would, I would, uh, (laughs) I'd break, I'd break off a little square for everyone around me. I'd be like, all right, let's talk to you. I'd I'd be the only one that wasn't rolling on the ground. Yeah. I I like it. I really don't. uh, What? Like four minutes is four minutes weird. Should it be like five just so it's an easier number? Yeah, let's do five. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, they have a 99% coca. Do they? Are they do. Um, no, no, I'm looking at it right now. I'm pulling oh. up. I'm trying to look. I didn't. You're like 85, 90. They have a fucking. What is the difference between a 99% and a 100? Oh, I don't know. We it doesn't even out. mention the 99% on the. There's disclaimer. a 95, 90. <laughs> they're just like, that's the, the end zone. 99 to 100, same thing, I assume. Oh, I don't think you could do that in five minutes. I really don't. Have you had extremely high <laughs> cocoa no. content chocolate no. before? No, I don't even like dark chocolate. Not a fan. Oh, I, yeah, I, I, I really don't. If we're placing bets on it, I don't think you can do it physically. I don't think Ooh. you get it down. Oh, I will. Add, oh, if we're getting bets involved, this is I'm, I'm, now I'm excited about this. I, was just I think you found your point. confidence too. <laughs> oh, I'm absolutely chocolate confident. I'm not even all that into chocolate. As we said last episode, <laughs> not a big sweets guy. They're okay. Well, it's not. <laughs> I don't think it's sweet at all. Well, it's chocolates. It's in the candy category. I know it's not sweet. Total sugars, zero grams. And, but you would put, if somebody, if somebody has a candy bar, you'd put it in the candy section. It's a chocolate bar. It's in the candy aisle. It's in the it's sweet like, aisle. No, but it's, it's like all bitter. It's not. I mean, you, we'll, you, we'll find out when you eat it. Oh, well, wait a second. <laughs> yeah. Eric just said is, it's in the baking section. Is it in the baking this- section? No, this was in the chocolate section. There we go. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. I wish we could get some delivered to you today. I genuinely, if you would have just, if you would have texted about it, I would have it ready to go. I have, there's zero hesitation in my mind that I could just immediately do this. <laughs> can I get one? Let me see if I can get one. Delivered. See if you can get one delivered while we're, because we have another yeah, episode. I'm going to look right now to see if I can get one delivered. I highly doubt that I could get a fucking lint 100% dark chocolate bar delivered in this moment. But I will try. I'll look into this. Gavin, do you, uh, do you feel a bit like a failure because you couldn't eat it? Uh, yeah. Like you're, you're not the chocolate <laughs> fan you thought you were. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks for asking. I do feel like a failure. <laughs> I would have read that disclaimer at the bottom and would have been like, ugh, chocolate snobs. I would have put that absolutely in the snob <laughs> category of people. Oh, I also, before we move on to the, uh, the important stuff, I do have a clip to play. Oh. From, from last week's podcast. Oh. Oh, great. I don't, okay. This is one of the ads. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and Face listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash face. That's B E T T E R H L E P dot com slash. <laughs> we had an ad read for better <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Better Oh Does anyone does anyone listen to? I'm the only <laughs> one listening to these, and I don't get the version with the ads in, so I couldn't prove that. <laughs> That's amazing! Oh my god! Is that the first time, Jeff? I guess you wouldn't know. I don't have know. You, I hope so. Have you ever so. been told, hey, you spelled the, the thing wrong? H-L-E-P. Go back and do it. No. <laughs> no. That's a first for me. <laughs> I feel like Nick, <laughs> Nick equally responsible. Or, or, does he, is he there when you record or you just deliver him to him? 
No, I deliver them to him, but I always talk to him and I, get, I have a little conversations with him and stuff. So I might have distracted him. I mean, I it might still work. Maybe they've redirected better <laughs> help to their own website. <laughs> Is That's better help available to buy? Can we own better help? Oh, thanks, Nick. <laughs> Nick. Nick said it's really nice. Uh, I appreciate it, buddy. Uh, oh, oh man, that's air. really that's um that's legitimately embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't get embarrassed very often, but I think that one got me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I was cracking up when I heard it. Woo. That was you. Get, that was the that was my embarrassment for 2021. You fucking nailed it. <laughs> Thanks for catching that. So glad, so glad you didn't let that go. It's very clear what you're trying to spell. I don't think there's any confusion there. I don't think anyone got lost. Do you, if you yeah. were in Nick's position, and let's say Nick did catch it, do you correct Jeff? Do you tell him that he misspelled it? <laughs> yeah, I think you have to. <laughs> I think you have to. I would probably just see if I could cut up the, uh, the waveforms and re re rearrange it. Yeah. <laughs> That's well, fantastic. Let's go ahead and invoice. Let's go ahead and invoice them for the additional advertisement they got on this podcast. Whew. Yeah, I feel like I always, I always make sure that there's no ads in the first version, but uh, there is this week. <laughs> <laughs> Any other uh, embarrassing shit you got for us? That's all I got. Are you the kind of person who falls asleep already thinking about the next morning's coffee? Well, Trade's goal is to make sure that every cup of coffee you have is your best ever. The journey to your perfect cup starts with taking their coffee quiz. Everybody loves quizzes. America is obsessed with tests. The whole world even, because I realize this is a global podcast. Do you use a French press? No. Do you use an automatic drip? I personally don't care as long as you are enjoying your coffee. Are you a cold brew person? Well, no problem, because your answers will allow Trade to pair you with the perfect coffee to fit your tastes. Trade will match you to coffees you'll love from over 400 craft coffees and will send you a freshly roasted bag as often as you would like. You get 10 a day if you want. I don't care. That might be a lot of caffeine for you, but I don't know you. I don't understand how your body chemistry works. Or your, I, don't, I don't know your individual makeup. However, I do know that you deserve good coffee and you can give them feedback as you sip because as your preferences evolve your coffee matches will too and you can feel good about each cup since trade partners with 55 plus i believe that means more than 55 u.s-based roasters who are committed to ethical and sustainable sourcing so for our listeners right now trade is offering your first bag free and five dollars off your bundle at checkout to get yours, go to drinktrade.com slash face and use promo code face. Take the quiz to start your journey to the perfect cup. That's drinktrade.com slash face, promo code face, for your first bag free and $5 off your bundle. Enjoy! We all shop online, and we've all seen that promo code field taunt us at checkout. But thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Honey supports over 30,000 stores online. That's more than you could ever hope to shop at in your lifetime, unless you're like, we're like Bezos rich. And they range from sites that have tech and gaming products to popular fashion brands and even food delivery. Let me explain how it works. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. Like for me, uh, it might be related to uh, ceramic spoons and thimbles. I, I don't know what you, I, maybe that's what I shop for. Maybe it's not. I don't know what you shop for. Personally, I don't care as long as you, uh, you're you happy when you do it. When you go to the checkout, the honey button is going to drop down. Then all you have to do is click apply coupons. You wait a few seconds as honey searches the entire internet for coupons that it can find for that site. And then if it finds one, boom, watch your prices drop. You've heard me talk about my stand-up paddle boards. I got crazy discount thanks to my girlfriend and honey. And uh, I haven't been able to use them lately because the water has been trash in Austin. But I did get them at a tremendous savings thanks to honey. And they found it's over 17 million members, $2 billion in savings. With $2 billion, you could shop at, I don't know, 30,000 stores online probably. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It is literally free and installs in a few seconds. And by getting it, you're doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. I would never recommend something I don't use. So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash face. 
That is joinhoney.com slash face. Andrew, you said uh, yesterday that you wanted to give a Cosmic Crisp update. Oh, I do. I have a brief update. Obviously, apples, the top fruit, a top tier fruit. I reached out. It's, it's not a, a substantial, but I did. I reached out to the Cosmic Crisp people and I got a reply and I got other contact information. So we need to like figure out what we want to ask them, or I guess, request. Well, but we want apples that we can review and talk about. Okay. Everyone and also, also, we want to be listed as official spokespeople uh, for the, the Cosmic Crisp. See, that's why I asked. I just, now we have, yeah. uh, we have a direct line. You're making it sound like it was a, a brand new apple, though. But apparently people have been eating them for years. Well, they beta tested around, I'm sure, <laughs> like anything. Like, I saw some people say, hey, <clears throat> I live in Washington and we've had this apple for about a year. It's really good. And then I've also heard other people say, like, yeah, I've been drinking, I've been eating caramel crisp all year. And it's like, that's not the apple, buddy. It's Cosmic Crisp. You're confused. I think a lot of people are confused because they hear the word Cosmic and they hear the word Crisp because it's the combination of two other apples, I believe. Right. So I think there's a lot of people that think they're eating Cosmic Crisp because they recognized a word, not both words. So Interesting. If, if I'm eating, are you going to, you should get some apples, Jeff. If I'm going to eat this banana, you need to get some apples. To one yeah, to I'd just love, like bite in to. and like figure out the range of flavors and textures because it's crazy you don't know. You know, it's funny. I, I have it listed right here. As things to talk about today, uh, Apple rank. I think that we should start ranking apples. I think this would be an interesting direction for us to go in. We, if we could create like the official Apple ranking guide so that people know, you know, we could come up with like, we could come up with texture, flavor, mm -hmm. crispiness, whatever we determine, and then we could become the authority on apples. I'm a big fan of this. I, apple is yeah. genuinely my favorite fruit. It's a great. Fruit. Are you serious? It's such a Absolutely. nothing fruit to me. It's Get just the such fuck filler. out of here! It's it like is, I'm never yeah. gonna go and buy one. It never. is oh, no. I'm, I buy. I'm a with shit Gavin. Ton of apples. They're great. I'm with Gavin. That's that's why that's why this is important, Andrew. You're we're, through your love of apples. You're gonna you're gonna introduce it to us and probably the rest of the world who thinks that an apple is nothing more than a bog standard fruit. I, I am not going to take this fucking apple slander by a guy that can't eat a chocolate bar and someone who can't spell apple. I'm not taking it right now. Apple is the top tier number one fruit, and it will be established. It's a great juice. It's a great pie. It's just great by itself. It's portable. It's fantastic. Great In our text fruit. conversation the other day, I said, uh, apples, are, this really annoyed you. Apples are fodder fruit. It's the melon of a fruit salad of fruit. <laughs> It's not, well, what is the, pr the problem with that statement for me? I got a lot of issues with it. It's, you're getting me, getting me revved up about apples. I fucking love an apple. When am I eating an apple in a fruit salad? And I, I, like, I would never want, the melon is what I'd want. The pineapple is great in a fruit salad. Some grapes, like, there are no, so I'm many great fruits it's in the, a fruit it's, salad. Wait, is it, wait, what? <laughs> what are you saying? I got, I got confused while I was trying to think about what I was going to say while you were talking. <laughs> I was saying that one, I don't feel like apple is in fruit salad. No, generally. no. The point is, is that in a fruit salad, a melon is fodder. No, yeah. a melon it's is a filler. staple it's of the filler. fruit you melon, salad. Melon, it takes up space. You need yeah. a melon. No, you need that melon in the fruit salad. You're excited about the pineapple. You're excited about the grapes in there. The, it's, like apple, it's like melon, whatever. And I'm saying that it, on fr <laughs> apples are the melon of a fruit salad of fruit. I understand yes. your point, but I disagree about them being fodder. I think they're a key part of the fruit salad. I think a fruit salad is a collection of pieces together. You have You're your talking about the melon or it. the apple? The melon. I'm saying okay. we're talking fruit salad now. Now we're talking okay. about fruit salad. I think the melon in a fruit salad is important. I don't think it's comparable at all to apple. Now, I will say, in addition to that, I don't mind apple in a fruit salad. I think actually that makes it a little bit more exciting. I feel like you Completely never get agree. an apple in a fruit salad. <laughs> you do sometimes. I feel like it's very rare. I'm, you, when I you think know fruit what? salad, grapes, pineapple, <laughs> melon. I hope, I hope this isn't a controversial uh, strawberry. Uh, but I, you know what I like in a fruit salad, which I feel like isn't isn't always in there enough, but uh, it gets overshadowed and sh and should should shine a little bit more. I like a pear in a fruit salad. A pear can be great. I, I feel like a pear brings a whole other thing to the table in a fruit salad. I, I agree with that, but I, I would also say a pear on its own wouldn't ever buy that. You're, uh, never, in, you're never in the mood for a pear. I, you know, I, I feel like I agree with Jeff. I think the pear gets slept on. I think it's a yeah. better fruit than we give it credit for. <laughs> totally agree. I've heard people put some pear and a little bit like thinly sliced some pear and put it on a grilled cheese. I think that would be interesting. 
I think that'd be Ooh, a good combination of flavors. That I've always fancy. wanted to try it. It sounds good. A little bit of texture. It's a good texture, unlike the banana. Terrible texture. Well, I, they're very different textures, both great in their own right, but also controversial textures. A lot of people don't like pear purely because of the sandy texture. I think it's yeah, a strength, gritty. personally. Yeah. I see. I feel like the banana is grittier and chalkier than the pear. This chalk analogy with the banana, I, I just I don't, I don't know where you're get getting that from. Yeah. I, it's, I, I can't describe it either. But it's just it's how I it's how I remember. But to be fair, you guys are correct. I don't think I've just eaten a banana off the counter since I was maybe ten. It's Why probably been like seventeen years. Because I don't have get one. I don't have bananas. Why would I Everyone have? Everyone has bananas. I don't have banana. I don't like bananas. <laughs> I never buy bananas. <laughs> no one in your family has them. Go get a yeah, fucking apple, Gavin. Right now, everybody has apples. I got a dozen of them in my fridge. Go eat an apple. You keep apples in the fridge? Of course I do. <laughs> preserve them you put them in the fruit crisper section the the, the drawer you put them ah oh, no it's too cold yeah. you're gonna be no it's Ooh. not no it's not it you preserves need, them you and maintains need. the crisp i'm a room temperature apple guy you're when just, i am an what, apple guy what you're declaring is i am a psychopath guy is what you're saying by saying that statement you do <laughs> not people been, need to be refrigerated man they preserve better well what you don't buy as many how long are you holding on to these apples I'll buy like 12 apples and I'll just eat them. <laughs> I'll eat them as I go. I'm well, a, you, a Cosmic Crisp is going to last you a fucking year. That's true. So that is a 12 apples will last you 12 months. I'm telling you, I will go down in the fridge and just go to town like a fucking horse. I will eat like... You'll go down to Apple Town? <laughs> I will go to Apple Town. I love an apple. It's great. This might be a divisive opinion. Not an apple or <laughs> peanut butter guy. Don't like those what? at all. I don't That's like that great. at all. I love I both I independently. It's a popular snack. Don't like them together. Whenever I do it, I end up just eating the peanut butter by itself and the apple by itself. Two great things independent. <laughs> you sounded so legitimately angry when you went, I don't like it at all. At all. There was so no. much emphasis there. It's just genuine. It's a genuine dislike. What's your go-to apple? See, I don't want to say it because I don't want to put my apple on the spot. Mm. I do have one. If we're going to rank well, them, and I don't also, want you. You don't want to insult the Cosmic Crisp people. No, well, I've never had one, so it's very possible <laughs> the Cosmic Crisp could be. I haven't had the joy of tasting it yet. I think but it could be my favorite apple, definitely the Granny Smith. It's a good apple. It's a great apple. The Granny Smith is a fantastic apple. Right, I definitely, I put it in the top seven, for sure, of apple types. Top seven? Top seven. Top seven. Yeah, so there are potentially seven. six apples you like better. How many apple types can you name off the top of your head? Uh, not many. But I just I, I hope know, seven right. Nah, let's see. We got I can name ones. I hate the fucking Macintosh is a trash bottom tier. Apple. <laughs> I don't know if I want to reveal the other ones because I feel like all the ones coming to mind right now That's are fair. my greatest it, hits of apples. And I don't want to reveal my hand. I don't want to it tip off in any way. Why don't you want to show your apple? Yeah. Hand? Because I don't want Jeff to potentially be influenced or for either of you to be like a uh, shitty apple, like just to try to fucking get under my apple skin. Don't like he's it. right. He's right. Because I <laughs> absolutely will do that and was planning on doing it. No, it's, yeah. it's a good call, Andrew. I'm going to you gonna should hold, keep keep your I'll, apples close to your vest. Yeah, I will. I'll keep chest. them in my fridge, actually, is where I'm going to keep them because it preserves. That's them. pointless. That's and that's you're pointless. pointless. You're a maniac. That's ridiculous. You're just taking up fridge space. Could somebody look up? Either, Eric, could you look up? Should I be refrigerating my apples? They don't, they're not. You don't buy them refrigerated. No, you don't. But it, like, I think it extends their their ripeness. If so it's they're, in they're, the fridge in the store, stick it in the fridge. General rule. I'm trying to think. Is is there an exception to that rule? A outside of fruit for me, bread. I put my bread in the fridge too. Yes, there are items that say uh, refrigerate upon opening. So like barbecue sauce, shit like that. You can buy it on the yeah, shelf, but then once you open it, it has to be refrigerated. So. By the way, are, have we just talked about oh. apples and bananas for 40 <laughs> minutes? <laughs> we, we have. But well, also, God, it, the last two podcast? episodes were pretty apple heavy as well. I, God okay. damn, man. You know what? I need to advise Eric. I'm going to do more research beyond this, but Eric sent a thing that says apples should be stored unrefrigerated for about seven days after purchase. Apples refrigerated too soon lose flavor and sweetness. Ooh. So, that I could be You've wrong. Been cutting You're, off your apples at the flavor knees for years. You know what's? You know what that though? That's a fucking statement about how delicious apples are. Because if I've been fucking chopping them at the knees for <laughs> years and I still have them a nine out of ten, they're gonna be fucking ten. You've been eating handicapped apples and they're still good. Yeah, they've been reduced 
quality apples, and they're still top tier for me. It's an A plus, top of the mountain. Do you know what you're about to do? You're about what? to. You're gonna expand. Your whole world is about to open up when you get a full flavored apple. Oh, it's gonna be like seeing color for the first time. I assume. Yeah, congratulations. It's gonna be life changing. I can't. I just wait. feel like storage aside. I just wouldn't want to bite into a cold apple. I feel like it'd be, it'd be like biting a lump of ice cream. It's like. Ugh. I don't. Mm -hmm. They don't get that cold. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I guess they're not frozen. About. No, they're not frozen. That's a terrible comparison. Well, like a, a cold strawberry is, is too cold. Like, a, like if you mm. get chocolate covered straws, need them out of the fridge for at least an hour. What I, about I a frozen strawberry, though? You're getting it. I feel like a frozen strawberry could be good. Dude, frozen strawberries are very good. See, I've been eating them. I've been eating them lately. Look at that. They sell them at, uh, they sell like this little frozen strawberry thing at uh, Trader Joe's. They're fucking yummy. Hey, do you guys think we should. Get off of fruit for a minute and yeah. switch gears, yeah. or should we just that's, that's okay? Fi that's fine. We could switch. I, I, can I have a question, like unrelated, just very quick? And I know it's something you want to talk about. And I apologize because it's possible we've already discussed it, and I forgot. Oh boy. But I don't this think this is bat knob related. I'm, no, I'm no, no, it's not bat knob related at all. Okay, it has nothing to do with that. You're going to be excited when I bring this up, and I apologize okay. if we've covered it and I just don't remember. You mentioned, I want to say, last episode, maybe it was two episodes ago that you were really into like two things, that you're very excited about these things. And one of them was koozies. Yeah, koozies and pastrami. I'm a pastrami yeah. dude. I'm going to get pastrami this weekend. I'm yeah. going to wake up early Saturday morning and get pastrami <laughs> before F1. No, I I'm get so it. Fucking dude, I was talking about it last night with my mom. My mom was in town See, and my aunt. <laughs> and I went fucking, uh, dude, I spent like an hour talking to him about pastrami. Yeah, I get you beef. really like pastrami. Mostly pastrami though, dude. You. I think she that's wonderful. In. He's like, mom, 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 pastrami. pastrami. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, no, if I was like, I was like, how did I get to be 46 and you never gave me pastrami? Like, what are you doing? But I Why are you think... depriving me of pastrami for four decades? So much like last time, you brought up these two things and I feel like I listened to you yell about pastrami for like 15 minutes and which is awesome. I don't think I know why you like koozies and why this is like a big thing. I don't think you ever explained that. Why are you super into koozies? Uh, because I, I, my girlfriend gave me one and it was the kind that lays flat. And I don't know. I just threw it on the counter. And one day I put it on a soda and then my, uh, I liked the heft of it. I liked mm -hmm. how squishy it made my hand when I was drinking my soda, kept my hand dry. I got to look at the, the logo of the thing that was on it and remind me that I was a fan of that thing. And it, it folded <laughs> flat. <laughs> and I was able to put it in my back pocket, and I liked the heft of having a koozie. It's like a little added, added packet, like a little, uh, like a little cushion <laughs> for my butt. Instead, it's yeah. like the opposite of a back wallet. It's like a, it's like you put a koozie in each pocket, and you're sitting better. Okay, <laughs> so you just really enjoyed the experience. There was, there's not just like, yeah, dude, thing. start top to bottom. I just like. I just never, it's been, it's been like that lately with me. I've just been finding awesome new things that I didn't know about. Just today, I was putting my headphones on to get ready for this podcast, and I remembered that when I got these headphones for Christmas three years ago, they were Bluetooth headphones, and I just never synced them up, and I was just using the cord the whole time, and I thought, I could do that, and I just wouldn't have a cord anymore. <laughs> and I'm listening to you guys on cordless headphones now. It's just every day, there's something better. It's something new that's just like <laughs> making my life easier. <laughs> Pastrami, <laughs> koozies, Bluetooth is great. I don't know if I trust Bluetooth with you. I feel like it's not so much now. I feel like there's a real phase of you, everything being broken. And I know I'm one to talk. I had my technical difficulties too for a stretch. But yeah. you with Bluetooth, like removing the cord. Do you know where the cord is at least? <laughs> yeah, I found it. I set it somewhere and three years ago and I found it immediately. Okay. I went, I bet I put it here and it was there. Fantastic. That's great. I'm glad you're discovering new things. Should we Thanks, talk man. about some of the other stuff we had planned? Because I just realized that we've been recording for like 43 minutes and we've only talked about apples, essentially. We're we're about so we had one, two, three, four. Five, I had seven things on the list and we've talked about <laughs> kind of like, like, I guess two of them. Should we remove some of the apple stuff? Have we talked about anything no. that wasn't an apple? No, I, we've talked about a few things. Can yeah, we, we have banana you content. Just, <laughs> you want to just close? <laughs> oh, we have chocolate and lap. Let's mi did. yeah. Let's mix things up. All right. Let's switch gears. Andrew, you want to talk about nuggets? You have nugget content. Do, we, do okay. Are we just gonna lean food heavy in this? We're just gonna go full <laughs> on. This is just sounds a food like show it. at this point. I have. I'm going to redeem. This is my redemption year, Gavin. As <laughs> okay. you know, this is this is a year of redemption for me. I've lost the burgers three times. I tried, did my best, <laughs> couldn't do it. 
I am now redeeming myself, though. Again, we're changing it up. We're going with nuggets. Oh, interesting. Ooh. We're going nuggets are the future. And I will, I will get can my I food. first before, go ahead. before you even go on, can I just say up front that this is a terrible idea? Continue. Okay. <laughs> well, well, now let me explain the idea. This is, I honestly, I had this idea uh, last year during the last game of this team's playoff run. They got eliminated. I had it the day after. So I've been sitting on this for a while. There is a basketball team called the Denver Nuggets. I want to <laughs> out nugget the Nuggets. I want to eat more Nuggets than the Nuggets score points in a game and embarrass their franchise. So I'm planning okay. this. We're doing this on what day is it? I I'm gonna do the uh, it's the Friday, October 29th. They have a 7 p.m. Pacific game against the Dallas Mavericks at the Nuggets home. I will eat more Nuggets within the regulation of the game than the Nuggets score points. I'm very confident about this. What if you were to pick a team with a better defense, like the Utah Jazz, like a team that's going to lock down the Nuggets? And I mean, this is there's a twenty there's a twenty Nugget swing going here, probably uh, depending on which team you pick. I'm not worried about that at all, Jeff. I, I genuinely, much like the chocolate, I don't think this will be an issue. I got Nugget confidence uh, uh, for this. So uh, that's what's ridiculous. the average? What's the average score in a basketball game? That's a great question. Yeah, I can't, beyond the average score, the, the Denver Nuggets averaged 115.5 points per game last season. That was their average <laughs> score. So we're looking at 116. <laughs> it's a weird sport. Uh, so are you going to get like, how many, how many are you going to buy? You're going to have them all up front. I, right? I'm assuming, no, this is, so that's another fantastic question by you. It doesn't make sense. I should not be able to score points while the Nuggets have the ball. So I can only eat the Nuggets when Dallas has the ball. It's the only time. I can only <laughs> gain points on them when Dallas has possession. I cannot just be eating Nuggets constantly. I'm only allowed to score when Dallas has the ball. So in a, th so a two-hour basketball game, you only have access to approximately one hour of nugget eating time. Potentially. We'll see how the game flow goes. But yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm expecting, now, I'm anticipating having to eat 116. Here's a question for you. Yes. Uh, uh, is this a nationally televised game? I have no idea. I'm assuming so, okay. but I don't know. It's well, if it's a nationally game, televised so game, there'll be, there'll be a half time show will you be able to eat during the halftime show like say no. maybe mm -hmm. maybe during nuggets highlights or something nope. or like what, during dallas highlights okay so just what if it's during... out of bounds what if it's like between stuff what do you mean when it's out of bounds if it okay so if, if dallas loses the ball out of bounds i immediately have to stop does oh. so but the ball has to be in play the ball has to be in play that's even less time what about during a timeout called by dallas and they maintain possession no, I can't score. They can't. If the team can't score points, then I can't score points. Okay, so they score three points, let's say. Yeah. Then uh, the ball goes to the other team. Right. You're explaining basketball. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to imagine. So you, are you then going to immediately be stuffing your face? As soon as Dallas gets possession of the ball, I got to go. I got to go, go, okay. go, go, go. I got to. I'll be like fucking Jeff's vacation guide. It's going to be a go now <laughs> scenario of chew those. Dude, you're going to go chew now. Chew those nuggets. Yeah. So are you competing in this scenario against Dallas or no. the Nuggets or no. both? I'm the da Dallas is a representation of me. Yeah, he is okay. Dallas. Yeah. You are Dallas. I am Dallas yeah. in this scenario. V yeah. Going up again. Okay. Going against the Denver Nuggets. I'm going to out nugget the Nuggets. It's going to be great. And are you gonna be? Get, are you gonna get any sauce involved? See now, this is a very interesting thing that I wanted to bring up, and Nick even also asked, "What is the nugget to point ratio?" Because in basketball, you're typically your average score is worth two points, and there's a three point play, free throws worth one. I am I, in my head, I always assumed one nugget equaled one point, the equivalent of right. one point. But yeah. I am open to the idea of like a three point nugget. But I just don't know what that looks. I don't know if that's like if I have to dip it in insanely hot hot sauce, if that's the three point nugget, like what what would I have to do? It obviously has to be a tougher experience to replicate the equivalent of a three point nugget. How well, about so a so three point? Get... Go ahead. Go ahead, Gaff. <laughs> <laughs> How about. All right, I'll go. How about, uh, you know, you know, that's we very rarely have that shit happen, considering we're an audio only podcast that records remotely. Um, it's uh, pr pretty impressive. It's way worse on the other ones I do. What if you just like I like the one to one ratio because it makes the most sense for math. 
and you're not having to do any kind of translation or figuring shit out on the fly. So what if for a three point nugget, you just had to put all three nuggets in your mouth at the same time? No, I I don't see. I think it could be. I agree. Like, hmm. I'm very mixed because I I'm not I can't tolerate hot sauce at all. So if we get a super hot hot sauce, if it it would genuinely be a desperation move by me if I was trailing in points in the last thing. And I think that could be funny. Yeah, but here's the deal. Here's what I see happening down the road. You fail the challenge and you blame the hot sauce, not the nuggets quantity which is what we're going to disagree with because we're going to think that the quantity of nuggets is overwhelming. You're going to, when when you fail at this inevitably, you're going to blame other things like hot sauce being too much for you to handle. But it's really going to be the nuggets. I'd like to eliminate, this competition is you versus the nuggets, nugget to nugget. I think it should, I think, I think it should be simple. I I feel like I'm very excited for this, for this to take place. I'm just also like, as I'm asking questions, I'm also thinking about how he's going to Andrew pant in this. Like, how's he going to salad cream slash (laughs) pants? No, no, I think honestly, I disagree with your analysis that I'd blame the sauce and be like, I could have eaten the nugget. I would only go to that sauce if I felt like I couldn't, I was running out of time and that I just was like, I was fucked. It would be most likely in my head, not a time issue actually, as much as it is a, I can't eat this many nuggets. I'm going to need to start getting bonus nugs off of every nug. That's when I would pivot to the sauce in my head. So I don't think I'd ever excuse that. But I I agree with what you said. I like the integrity of a nugget being one point. I think that's truly out nuggeting the nuggets. If I eat genuinely more nuggets than they score points. I agree with that. Hey, Gav. Yeah. What nugget count do you think he throws in the towel? Oh, well, I'm trying to think of how many, because I, I, I find nuggets get extremely samey. After I've had like yeah. five, I'm just like, ugh, I'm done with them. <sighs> I think around 60, he's going to be really feeling it. I was going to say 72. He's going to tap out at 72 nuggets. 72? We'll see. I, I bet you every time, the first time I did the burger challenge, I was so confident, and I literally realized my issues one bite in. So I'm curious <laughs> to see... If I hit that wall, and if <laughs> at what point with the nuggets. well, how many bites of burger do you think you got down? What do you mean? On which one? On which attempt? Your best attempt. My best attempt. Yes. I ate like forty-two burgers. How many bites was that? I I don't know how to translate burger to bite. Well, I mean, were you doing like five bites per burger? I have never measured in bites per burger before, so I have no well, idea. How, how what's a nugget to you? Are you all in? I could do well. Like, what do you mean? Like, how many? <laughs> are you doing two chumps per nug or are you just a nuggets them in? two a nuggets two bites i don't know i could yeah no i think it's more than two bites i mean i could throw the whole nugget in my mouth it just as a whole but it's like how many times does it take the chew to swallow i don't know yeah i've never considered that i've never I'm, I'm not worried about how many times it, i'm just yeah how many chumps of the actual nug to yeah, get how many in. bites but i feel like if you do put the entire thing in you're gonna get less sauce which might be a bonus see i don't know if i'll use sauce stomach. because that could take up space is yeah. my whole thing with the sauce. It's also like we're not even talking about the fact of maintaining temperature on the nuggets. How many nuggets do I order at one time? Yeah, I was about to say, can I make a re- recommendation? They're going to get harder to eat the more room temperature they become. I, if I were you, I would order them via competing services at a, uh, in, in a tiered manner so that they're arriving hot like every 30 minutes or something. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to order 60 up front and I'm going to go all McDonald's nuggets. I'm going to go 60 McDonald's nuggets and then order another 60 as soon as half starts. Okay. Because that could be another. That would be honestly how I end your pant it if I run out of nuggets. That would be the yeah the excuse. You don't you don't want your nuggets stuck in traffic. No, I don't. It <laughs> That's would a good be point. Terrible. Yeah, just watching. So it's like, how long is a halftime? Like fifteen minutes, ten minutes. Like I need to factor that into of ordering. You have to time that picks. perfectly. I do because you don't want to be running around barefoot outside when the game's on. No, to pick up your next nug. Absolutely not. Nothing is worse. Oh fuck! And it's gonna be. It's going to be dark outside at that point. It starts at <laughs> seven. In the like, that's a whole other layer. I didn't Why didn't you consider. get the second batch just in the oven on, on a, like a low preheat? I feel yeah. like that'll dry yeah. them out. I feel like that might dry them out. That's my uh, concern. Maybe not if you cover it. Mm. Okay. Well, you know, I honestly, I'll probably I'll make sure I have enough nuggets. We're going to I'm going to crush the Denver nuggets is all I'm saying. I, I don't think I could go past 30. I predict 60 for Andrew. I don't think he's going to get over 100. I could do 40. No way. He'll get 72. How, uh, well, I'm sorry, Andrew, what day is this again? October 29th, 7 p.m. Oh, that's, that's pretty soon. That's pretty exciting. It is. It's nine days from now. 
Oh, man. Uh, so we're probably getting fairly close to the end. I wanted to mention, I, I had this idea I, I posed to the uh, face Slack the other day, and everybody seemed to like it. So I was going to bring it up here and pose it to the audience. Uh, it struck me that we should probably create some sort of a regulation face shirt. I just don't know what that would be. Oh, it should just say regulation shirt on it, shouldn't it? Should it just say regulation face <laughs> shirt, like on the breast or something? Does it even need to say the name of the show? I think it might just, yeah, I feel like just say regulation, 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 shirt. regulation shirt. Regulation shirt? Okay. Yeah. I like that. Just on the on the pocket? Or is, is it I, even a pocket tee? I don't I, know. I feel like it's just a cross and like kind of bigger letters, regulation shirt. What <laughs> color is the shirt? What's a regulation uh, color? In, in my head, it's black with a white font, but I'd like... That isn't as important Ooh. to me. In, in, in my head, it was the other way around. It was white with a black font. I'm mm. fine with either of this. I, I think one of each. Do multiples. Okay. <laughs> er, Eric, can you can you investigate that for us? And Jeff, can you put can get... a sticker on every one of these shirts, please? Can we sell? Uh, it depends on how many. It depends on how many we sell. <laughs> Potentially, <laughs> sure. Have you worked more oh, on yeah, the bat? Yeah. The bat hitting, signing your name on balls with the bat thing. Well, no, because I've been in Florida the whole time. Uh, and then I got home, uh, right as my mom and my aunt got here. So I spent the weekend with them. Uh, and also the audience is going to be pissed off, uh, next episode because I won't have hit the ball by, or thrown the ball by then either, <laughs> because we're about to record it in eight seconds. <laughs> so I apologize for that. Uh, but no, i listen, I'm going to fucking, I'm going to hit a thousand baseballs. We just got to get them made. I feel extra. I have some extreme, extreme baseball bat confidence on the thousand. I have, I have, uh, I have uh, B plus confidence on the baseball throw. I uh, I will admit that my body has been frustrating me and and uh, a little bit here and there, but I don't think it'll impede me swinging the bat a thousand times. It, it's definitely going to cause some issues with throwing the ball, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll figure it out, right? What's the worst that could happen? On a, okay, so just a quick on a scale of one to a hundred, Jeff, how confident are you that you could swing at a thousand baseballs in one thing? One hundred, hundred percent confidence. I am 100% confident I could do the nugget thing. Now, Gavin, you rank the likelihood of each of those things actually happening, being successful. Um, in what format am I ranking? Like percentage one, confident? One to 100, yeah. Percentage confident, the odds of them actually being completed. What we're uh, claiming will happen. I would put your to. nugs at 40% confidence. Okay, that's pretty mm. good. It's higher than and I I'd thought. And put, I'd put Jeff hitting 1,000 a, a balls at 20 now, what if it was swinging? It's not necessarily hitting. He's swinging at 1,000. 25. Okay, there you go. See what I just did wow. for you, Jeff? It's got you five points. Okay, well, well now, you've, now you've motivated me to crush Gavin. <laughs> got it, thank you. And I, and I would put my confidence in eating an, an, an entire chocolate bar at zero. <laughs> if I put that at 1,000% for me. I can't wait. Next one, I can't get You're it insane. delivered. I would put that even lower than your nugs. Oh, that is outrageous. I don't like dark <laughs> chocolate. I'm very excited. Next, I guess we're doing this next week. We're about to record a second one. The one after that one, I mean, some fucking chocolate. And it's going to go great. <laughs> I'm, I'm also going to be post nuggets. Yeah, that's true. Uh, listen, gonna be a lot I'm of victory. jazzed. I'm really jazzed about this, uh, this neck, this, the one after the one we're about to record because it's going to have a lot of, it's going to have what I'm guessing are going to be some classic f face bits in it. Uh, realized after all this, but let's not sleep on next episode because next episode, I think we're going to get to the superhero thing finally. Yep. And oh also God. I, uh, I want to pitch to you guys. Uh, I sent you guys some texts while I was in Florida about, uh, some ideas I had for some revolutionary new, uh, products similar, uh, within the same vein of, a uh, of, a uh, uh, too spicy, icy. And a, and a beef bracelet. Maybe the next brought evolution by Unifarm? in that lineage. <laughs> but, uh, brought, well, brought to us by Unifarm. Unifarm, combining the power of one with the fabric of the farm. Unifarm. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of which, Unifarm. Unifarm. <laughs> Unifarm. Combining the power of one with the fabric of the farm. Uniform. Uh, we might even have a spinoff show that is related. <laughs> Far AM, Unifram. <laughs> anyway, we we might have a Unifram esque spinoff video show uh, that we might be producing soon, which I'm pretty excited about too. Ooh yeah! But we can get into all that in the future. And by future, do you mean like we're ending the show now and then going to talk about it? I think like we should probably end this one and then hit stop and save and then hit record and then immediately get into it.
Okay. Well, I, all right. I'm going to stick a pee in as well. I got one thing. Yeah, I, also. I, I, I would, I'd like to pee as well. Why? Oh, just please. Stop. Just end the episode. Okay, well, Why? You don't one. need one more well, thing. Andrew's, Andrew's still talking. Eric. He's Andrew's got one thing. Finished. No, it's fine. He's got I, thing. I was just going to say I have something to bring up unrelated to that in the next episode. Okay. Oh, what is it? I talked to you about it yesterday. I'm very excited <laughs> to hear Gavin's reaction. What's going on? End this. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm really excited to hear about it. Hit stop. Everyone hit stop. Goodbye. Thanks for listening. Eric, are you aware that we did one? We did a one hour, 17 minute episode when uh, you were gone. I, I know. <laughs> I know. Just. Oh, uh, Henry's here with the ball. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cut. 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 Hit cut. stop now. <laughs> we didn't have an outro. There was no outro. There was no intro. <laughs> <laughs>